Happy Tuesday. Here we are. I have something really juicy and fun for you. Uh, if you're following along on uh, Facebook, make sure you let me know that you're watching live or if you watch on replay, let me know that. If you're watching on YouTube, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button so you never miss anything. And I will be leaving in the comments a link to get this uh, spreadsheet that I'm going to demonstrate with you. Now, you know, I'm all about systems. How can we streamline our business so that things run smoother? You don't have to think about a lot of stuff because when you have systems in place, it just makes it really easy to build that well-oiled machine. Well, here in the United States anyway, uh, end of the year means, okay, we got to start getting ready to get all of our tax paperwork and pay Uncle Sam. Uh, and when I first started in my business, I didn't do a very good job tracking the expenses. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, that's you. And if you're watching live, I'm using StreamYard, so you just have to give StreamYard uh, permission so that I can uh, see the comments. But anyway, uh, anybody else have that issue where they uh, struggled with trying to come up with all those uh, slips of paper and all that kind of stuff? And more importantly, once you start making a profit in your business, you are probably throwing money away or leaving money on the table. And what do I mean by that? If you are not tracking all of your business expenses at the end of the year, you know, you can claim those expenses, right? And I hate that. I hate the thought of leaving money on the table. So I had uh, shared this link to this spreadsheet um, that I've created, and I'm just going to walk you through how to use it. Now, I have been sharing this, um, I think, the least last two or three years anyway. If you're on my email list, I give it to you for free. I can certainly uh, turn around and charge for this uh, just to the general public. But if you follow me along in, in my email list, uh, this is my little end of the year gift for you. So if you're not on my list, I'll put a link below so that you can sign up and get this freebie because it is awesome. I just have to tell you. So let me share my screen here. And as always, let me move this out of the way. I always feel like I'm going into some kind of a matrix or something. And here we are. Now, this is, um, and I went back and forth. I even polled my group, um, and the majority of people said that they use uh, Google Sheets instead of Excel. So this is a Google Sheet, and I'm just going to walk you through how to use it. At the very bottom, I don't know if you can see it very well, <clears throat> but there's all these different tabs. And the first one is called list. And this is a list that you write on to come up with different categories. So what do I mean by categories? Um, and again, I'm not an accountant. I'm not a CPA, you know, talk to your accountant. Um, but again, this spreadsheet is just a way to help you have an easy system of collecting everything. But a category might be a uh, software. So when you're spending money, uh, just think about uh, what kinds of uh, categories will you be um, accumulating at the end of the year. So one category might be software. Another category might be your email, how much you're spending on your email. Um, another uh, category might be your um, phone bill service, uh, might be your um web domains, okay, might be your website, you might be spending so much every month for your website. It might be your uh, marketing program, which would also be software, but maybe you want to keep that separate, uh, just so you know. So the purpose of this first tab, the list, is just to come up with those standard categories so that when you spend money, uh, you can assign it to a category. Okay. Um, I spend a lot of money on books and journals and all that kind of stuff. So that would be another one. Now with income, you might just have one source of income. So maybe you're a coach um, 
And that's where the majority of your money comes from. But uh, you might also offer online courses and maybe you just want to track that. You want to see where the money is coming from. So online courses, or you might um, have affiliate sales. So in other words, if you're promoting other people's software or programs or anything else and you get money from that, you might want to track that. So again, your category list, you just put your income and expense categories, all right? Now, um, the second tab is the income master. And you'll notice here, because I made some changes on the first tab here, now I get these little uh, kind of weird red arrows and it says invalid because uh, it's wanting me to, if I click on that little drop down now, now here I can see all of those little items that I created. So I'm going to uh, click coach for the first one. The second one, I'm going to say online courses and the third one, affiliate sales. I'll just ignore the other ones for right now. And in January, let's say I get a, um, a new client that wants me to uh, build their funnel. And um, actually that could be a, a different category, but for right now, I'm just gonna make it uh, simple. So let's say I build a funnel form for 2,500 and I've launched a little mini course and I've already made, um, I don't know, $450 off of that. And I have some aff affiliate sales. So maybe I've made uh, $95 on that, all right? I'll just put zeros here. So as I'm reconciling, uh, whether you do it once a week or once a month, whatever it is, I'm just categorizing how much money that I've made uh, based on the category. And the beautiful thing, you notice at the top, I have um, a monthly total of how much I've made. Um, you know, let's pretend like it's uh, February and I've made 5,000 on my funnel building and my online courses. Let's say I've launched something and I've actually made 10,000 and so forth. All right. So now I have a February. I already had my January, but then the beautiful thing is a year end total. So wherever I'm at, it's calculating that. So how exciting is that? So that's the second tab, the income master. Now let's go over to the third tab, your in expense master. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, you'll probably have some standard expenses every single month. Uh, so for instance, you might, um, maybe you're paying monthly for a web page service or something. And again, you see all these little funny arrows here because we've changed the categories. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to pick some things at random here. All right. Um, and a lot of this doesn't really match, but just for the sake of time here, I'm just picking some things so you can see how it works. All right. So this, because this is our expense master, what I encourage you to do is to think about those monthly expenses. Every month, you know you're going to have an internet bill. <clears throat> Every month, you know you're going to uh, have to pay for email and things like that, right? You just add those. And then over here on uh, January, then you just start adding uh, what, the, what the totals are here of how much you normally spend. Right. So pretty easy. And then if you have some miscellaneous things, um, you know, maybe maybe you hired a, a VA uh, to do some, um, I don't know, graphic designs or something. OK. Um, and again, my list isn't completely built out, but, you know, we'll just make up some stuff here. All right. And so maybe I spent two hundred and fifty dollars on that. Again, the same concept as the um, income. You'll notice up here, January, that's how much money that I have spent. And then if you wanted to populate all the way across that every month, I know I'm going to be spending six bucks, six bucks or six dollars for my website. I could go ahead and populate all of that out or at the end of each month, however you want to do it, those standard um 
payments each month, you could just add that. And you'll notice up here at the top, as things start getting added up here, then it's also giving you a cumulative annual expense of how much money is going out, how much money is going in. So how nice is that? You will know in a quick minute what your um, income to expenses are. And then if we come to the fourth tab, now this is showing us the big picture again, year to date. And what's beautiful is, again, we see how much income we've earned to date and how much our expenses are to date. And it shows all of these um, standard items. So, you know, let's say it's February or March. I know just quickly looking, okay, I've spent, you know, almost $200 on my internet service, whatever. Okay. So that's how the yearly goes. And then the monthly is just a quick monthly recap of your expenses and income. So just strictly numbers. So you can look at that and always know where you're at. And then the rest of the tabs are strictly a month end for each month. Now, if you are working with an accountant or if you're taking this information, uh, giving it to your bookkeeper or uh, importing it into something else, you just have little monthly uh, printouts or a month at a glance. All right. So how exciting is this? Let me know in the comments if you like this, if you think you're going to use it. I just love it. Um, the one that I used last year was similar, but uh, each year it gets better and better as far as how I'm tweaking what works for me. Now, let me take it a step further because if you have a tool that you never use or you can never find it and all of that kind of stuff, then it's not going to do you any good, right? The idea is you always want this available. I don't know if you're, if this has ever happened to you, I have to confess, you know, I'll see something, somebody will mention something about a book, for instance, I'll run over to Amazon on my web browser and I'll order that book, right? Well, there's 20 or $30 that, I could have written off if I remembered to do it. So what I do, a quick little workaround is, so this Google sheet up here at the top is my, the tab that I'm on. If you look here at the top, and I don't know if you can see it, where you have that little lock. If you put your cursor right by that little lock key and click and drag it down, let me just kind of put it in the middle here. Now notice it's on my, um, and I, I forget what you call this, your browser quick bar or something, all right? I'm gonna right click on that and I'm going to edit it. And now I can change the name, Web uh, Finances. I'll just call it that for instance, all right? And so right here it is on this tab. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't always have to have this open. If I can get to my screen. So I'm just going to close that. Come over here to Facebook here. And again, the scenario, I just purchased a book on Amazon. What am I going to do? I'm going to open up a new tab, come up here to my uh, saved little bookmark. Here's my sheet and I'm going to come right into my expenses and I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I, uh, I just bought this book and the book was $29, All right? I never have to worry about uh, losing all of those purchases. Another little tip for you is try to separate your money and try to separate what you use to spend. So have a separate either debit card or credit card that you use strictly for business. Again, it's going to make your life so much easier because then you'll know everything on that credit card or debit card is strictly for business. 
The same thing with uh, PayPal. I use PayPal exclusively for business and I have a business credit card that is only used for business. So I can easily just uh, reconcile all of those statements. I could print them out. So I have that receipt. I have all the receipts. So, you know, <laughs> heavens forbid, if you ever got edited, you have like a double system and then you don't have to go back and sort through all of these crazy um, pieces of paper and bang your head against the wall trying to come up with it. And then at the end of the year, how beautiful this is going to be because you can just look at this list. And when you're doing your taxes or if you have an accountant that does your uh, taxes for you, then you can just print this off and hand it to them and they can plug in their numbers and you're good to go. So again, with any system in your business, it has to be easy. So you want to make sure that you <clears throat> just uh, do a quick little shortcut and save this so that it's always there, always staring at you in the face. Now, if I uh, leave, you know, let's say I'm physically in a bookstore or I physically go someplace and purchase some hardware or whatever, the first thing I do when I come home is I've got my receipt in my hand. I put that receipt right on my keyboard. And that reminds me before I do anything else, I'm going to open up the spreadsheet I'm going to enter in that expense. And then I do have just a file folder that if I have any paper copies of anything, I just throw it in that file fo folder. So how easy is that? So if you haven't uh, downloaded your spreadsheet, make sure you do that and jump into it and play around with it. Again, very easy. On the list categories, put in your different categories. And then on your expense master, uh, the, the top few lines, just list out what your uh, standard monthly expenses are. This is also a great way to kind of streamline your business because when you do this, I have to say, I had uh, some uh, creep, creep, creeping in of all these extra expenses that I had and I looked at it when I was uh, mapping mine out for 2022. And it's like, oh my goodness, why am I spending so much money on some of these tools that I'm not using? So in January, I'm going to go back and I'm going to kind of refine and get rid of some tools that I'm, that I'm not even using again, so that we can have more profit in our pocket. All right. So let me stop sharing here. <clears throat> Bring this back. So again, make sure that you download it. I'll put the link uh, in the comments if you haven't snagged your copy yet. And let me know uh, once you start using it, let me know how you like it, if you have any questions, if there's anything that would work better for you uh, in the future, uh, let me know because each year I try to refine this and just make it better and better. All right, that's my gift. So uh, enjoy and thank you for joining me live and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.